<laughs> oh my. I talked about getting very secure. I would never get relaxed. When I, when I endeavor to go down on the squat, I get my whole body tight. My head, my nose, my ears, my ankles, my feet, my toes, the bottom of your feet, your back, your shoulder, everything has got to be tight. Nothing can be loose. It's like you're in a t totally tight, taut condition. And everything is pushing you down and up both. You don't relax the bottom or during the course of the motion, other than maybe relax possibly when you come to a complete lockout. Head up, my head's always up, keeps my back straighter. This is customary position for me. I was trained by weightlifters, not powerlifters, weightlifters. And they taught me that the squat rack was the altar. Okay, I mean, this is the squat rack, okay? And you genuflect in front of the squat rack. It's, it's where life and death will take place every workout. Best thing to do is to get deep breath on the way down. Hold it and pull it in your, in your abdomen. You make your abdomen tight. And so you bounce, boom, blow out the air when you go up. It's like a piston, like downward situation we talked about earlier. Explosive movement, remember those? Okay. It's almost like a squat. It's not like a sissy squat. And the movement is not up in the air. It's very basic. And you push from your toes, transfer the weight to your heels, and flex. Down on toes, heels, flex. As I progressed over the years and experimented, I should say, I decided that I wanted to try something different to change the look and the inherent qualities of my muscle development in my lower body. And I, after coming in contact with people like Vince Garanda, who doesn't believe in squatting, I don't know why, but uh, he does believe in hack squats. And he talked about doing hack squats the way I do them now. Uh, I really didn't look at his theories and do it. I was just doing it one day and realized that he had the same belief as far as hack squats. I believe in going down at this point, stretching as far as you can, pushing up. Oof. Oof. Also works your calves. Be very careful when you do this on your knees. I'm blessed with uh, strong knees. Knees are a very strong point, by the way, but the pressure on the hack squat can be very deadening, or any pressing move can be deadening to your knees. But again, my laid biceps seem to hit my calves all the time, take pressure off my knees. That's something I think is just unique to me. Most people, I find, should not go down as fast, should endeavor to come out of the pocket more slowly. So what I'll do sometimes to get around the cheating motion and avoid the knee problems, I'll have someone, a spotter, catch me at the bottom so I can butt rebound off of his force, his hands. <laughs> 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 Okay, so you have two different ways to do the hack squats. An isolation version and a conventional version. I always, always almost start out with a light weight. I get into doing reps first on this, a lot of reps. I go to pretty much to failure on the lighter weights. As I move up the rack, add more weight, I get sloppier, but I feel still, I feel very much still I can contract the muscle. Hi. Hi. 
exaggerate every motion. Higher. Never, never relax. Always stay tight. Tension. Let go. Push down again. Pump it hard, fast. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Leg curls, I perform very few sets. I, I like and prefer to approach uh, the leg curl in a very light, the lightweight initially. Uh, usually 50 pounds, I'll get on there and go very slowly, get a full extension, from a full contraction. I'm just testing the machine. Now ready? Push the machine up. Help me get reps. You grab my ankles, at the front of my ankles, other side. Okay? I want you to push from there, okay? Let go. Then we go down and push again. Now real fast and rhythm. Get a rhythm. Ready? Go. Yeah, that's it. Push. 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 Yeah, keep going, keep going. Kill me. Come on. Do it. More. Faster. Now stop it. Now push down the machine. Grab the machine and push down. Now fight. Push harder. Harder! Come on! Lord, keep on. Good. Danke. Conventional lateral raise, endeavoring to feel the lateral section inside of my delt. Sometimes when I turn in, I'm shifting some of the tension inward to the top of the front delt or even the lateral delt. I can't do any more like that. I'm really cheating and keeping tension, sustaining tension on this lateral delt. I do one at a time. I'm really keeping that tension and building more in a, almost an isometric fashion. Similar to my usual training style. Hey. 
one. <laughs> one of the things I like to do a lot is uh, gradually pack the plates on so I can't do a pause. Okay? I get some ridiculous couple of training partners and they raise it for me. And I push down, lower it slowly. And pull down. Negative at delts. It's back. Really good for me, uh, I'm back with delts. Everything comes into play. A lot of times, I'll get so much weight on there, I can't even do a negative anymore. So I just have somebody pull my elbows. Like we're holding the elbows on the incline. Press over here. Same thing, I'll do this. Hold the weight over my head. I'll have somebody hold my elbows and just keep me from falling down. The tension builds up within my delts and my back. Sometimes it's just, you know, very satisfying, but mildly. Rather than approaching it in a conventional circumstance of doing four or five exercises for your body part, I dwell upon one exercise, mainly one exercise for body part. Usually one heavy pressing movement and one secondary movement. For instance, on chest, I'll spend an hour doing heavy dumbbell presses on an incline. Finish off with dips. That's it. Stretch I find very effective. That stretch down there, as well as that part. Okay, ready, guys? Same as last time. Okay, got it. I gotta go, 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 grip. Okay, just hold it like last time. Let go, down. Okay. Basically, I'm squeezing and stretching through the entire range of the motion. Initially, I'm going up and endeavoring to lower slowly. I'm pulling the negative. The positive is no longer left. I'm just doing the negatives. I'm stretching and squeezing until there's not much left, anything left at all. I do that as more, no any more than two or three sets. To me, motivation is hating to leave the gym. I mean, I hate to leave the gym and know inside me that I could have gave a little more. I hate to know that I gave up. I hate it so bad I'll never do it. I don't care if I'm sick and thrown up in the gym. I'll, t I'll keep going so I can leave the gym and go. I did it. I gave. The aspect of being totally spent in giving, giving it everything you have, you a little more. <laughs> Satisfies me when I leave the gym. That makes me feel good about me. And that is really what motivates me. <laughs> <laughs>